so we can start this interview by you telling us your name and what you do. My name is Nikki Becker. I'm Vice President of Sales, Merchandising, and Brand Management for Accessory Headquarters. Um, tell me how you got into fashion. When I first went to school, I studied like I studied language and art history. I guess I always liked fashion, and I always liked like the more creative arts, but I never really considered it a career possibility for me because I couldn't draw. Yeah. And then I grew up in a house where like I was the valedictorian, so I was oh always very academic driven. And so my parents were not having the idea yeah, yeah. of a career that was not like, <laughs> like a doctor, future president, a right. <laughs> MD. They were like, just because you like to shop doesn't mean you, you, you turn are going to go work in fashion. Oh my gosh, that's funny. So I was like, okay, you know, I should just explore this. And I was going to just take classes on the side for fun. I was like, I'll go have my real day-to-day -day job, but this will be like my little outlet. And maybe one day I'll have a little side business. Sure, and sure. then, um, I found Fitum had this one year program for people who already had bachelors. And I was like, oh, well, this would be perfect. It's one year. I take classes. They have like the business aspect of the industry. So even though I can't draw, I can, you know, right. maybe find something that's a right fit. Absolutely. And I like put in my information to get like, you couldn't just find all the information. You had to like submit your email for someone to call you. Right. And someone called me like that night. Wow. And we just like got talking and I kind of told them where I was at and what I really liked about fashion and what I was trying to do and they were like, you know, what do you want to do? And I was like, well, I guess I would be a buyer because I can't really draw. And they were like, oh, honey, you don't need you to know, draw nowadays. Like we got computers for that. <laughs> I love it. And I was like, really? I wound up applying for uh, product development and I got in and I started in design. So nice. I did dresses, product development and design and then I went, um, I didn't think I wanted to do accessories or I had never really thought about accessories, like it kind of just fell into place for me. I was looking for something that would let me be more on the what the art girls were doing. I wanted to be more involved in the product conception and not just like, here's the idea, now make it happen. Right. Um, so I was able to find a job that kind of let me do both, that kind of let me sit there and creatively conceptualize the line and then still utilize all the skills I had with talking to the factory and getting it through production and costed correctly and, and all that kind of stuff. So That is two completely different skill sets and at the yeah. same time they would complement in, in one person. To have both of those skill sets would be really, really valuable. I'm sure your company is really, really <laughs> happy to have you. All right, how long you. have you been with AHQ? I joined AHQ in February, so Very cool. a couple months. Very cool. It's nice, so this is your first location on the West Coast. Yeah, I it's really that. exciting. The office is owned by Accessory Headquarters, whose main office is in New York, who's owned by Abe Chehebar. And then this is their second office, the West Coast office. So we have like little capsules of all the licensed brands that we own. And then the two brands that we actually own, Gosak and Hayden Harnett, are like, we do all of the marketing, all the PR, all the merchandising, the photo shoots, right. everything happens here. And then those will both have an e-commerce platform and all of that goes out of here too. So all of our customer service and, because our warehouse is right um, in Compton. Oh, nice, so you guys are in the area. Like you're yeah. building out your West Coast infrastructure, starting with the showroom, mm -hmm. distribution, e-commerce. That's cool that you're gonna run that out of here too. Yeah, we just launched one of the websites last week actually. Congratulations. Thank you. It is, it's hard work to launch an e-commerce. I know it's not a retail store where you have the same kind of build, but it takes a lot of background building of yeah. like what buttons make sense so people don't get lost. And so at the end of the day, it's gotta be user friendly. And that's like, that's hard to do. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of things that I had no idea went into it. <laughs> right? <laughs> the whole back end, yeah. like where the buttons lead and all the yeah. organization. And if one thing is typed incorrectly, yeah. the yeah. whole like system just falls to shambles. <laughs> I've, I've had this same debate, which might, might sound boring to other people, but this exact same debate with other people that the most important part of a website is the search function. Because mm -hmm. if somebody misspells something, because they usually will, because they heard about it or they read about it and it's just off memory that they're, if it doesn't find it, they assume you don't have it and they bail. And yeah. it's like, that's how fast. And I don't know, there's figures about how long people spend on websites on average mm -hmm. and how much money they spend and to kind of like treat it as a science. 
is oh it's my new difficult. hobby oh right it's, it's so like, nerdy oh that it's I so interesting it. I, I sit there all the time I'm like what did people search yeah and like yeah. where did they come from they came from Facebook why not from Instagram why not from Instagram Alicia, did they this. buy when they came from Facebook yes. which one did they click on it's so like it it's like a wormhole you can get sucked into. Yes. But it's really, really interesting to find out like where they're coming from and how long they're staying and what they're buying and who's converting. Why aren't they converting? Yeah. Like we had a problem when we first went live with the payment portal. So we had like okay. all these orders sitting in the carts and we were like, why are they sitting in the cart and no one's converting or. Okay. It's just interesting to find out to like where your customer base is coming from Absolutely. nowadays. Like I thought for sure a majority of our traffic would come from Instagram, but Facebook is like, hands down beating it. You're kidding. No. Really? Like, wow. so much traffic was directed just from boosting like some Instagram posts. I thought for sure it would be. And I wouldn't have even thought about it, but the web designer like pointed it out. They were like, just something you might want to look at. Wow, wow. So it is, it's like learning your customer from another perspective. Where does everyone find AHQ? Yeah, so AHQ's website is www.ahq.com. That's where you can find all of the brands that we license and both of our office location information. Um, but the brand that we just launched, Hayden by Hayden Harnett, that we spoke about earlier, you can find this on Facebook, Hayden by Hayden Harnett, so Instagram, cool. Hayden Harnett. Join our mailing list for discounts. <laughs> nice. um, and then we will be launching GoSack. Um, which is a really super fun printed nylon brand. It's exciting stuff. I'll have to keep um, my ear to the ground for what you guys are up to next because it sounds like things are about to roll. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much yeah, for everything today. Yeah, of course. Today. Thank you for having me.